Welcome, everyone. Welcome to All Hands Meeting 30, folks. We have a great show in store for you today. I can't believe it's already All Hands Meeting 30, and you've seen by that video just the years upon years of work that we've put into making All Hands Meeting so great. And this is uh, yet a milestone All Hands Meeting. It's the 30th All Hands Meeting. I mean, this has been a show that's been running over eight years, and its whole intent is to create really crystal clear communication on what's transpired, you know, throughout the, the time, what, whatever that time frame may be, uh, what's on deck, meaning what are we doing right now, what are the things that we're doing right now that are impacting one another and also our customer base, and then where are we going, what does that future look like, and it's something that we're really, really focused on, it's something that we've committed to, you know, some eight, nine years ago, and something that we want to continue to do, you know, well into the ages. We think all hands meetings are an awesome opportunity to really showcase all the wonderful things we're doing. And so I'm really proud uh, to stand here in front of you. I'll be sharing this stage with some awesome human beings on our team, some of which have been here since All Hands Meeting 1. Others, uh, this is their first All Hands Meeting, and, and others have a few All Hands Meetings under their belt. But nonetheless, they all have really great things to share. And so I hope you sit back and really enjoy the show. So today is uh, November 19th, 2020. Uh, one heck of a year it's been. We've actually completed 324 days this year. It's remarkable to think. And uh, while this year has, you know, given us so many uh, turns and twists and things of that nature, it's probably one of the most, if not the most tumultuous year, certainly of my career. And I've been here for 21 years here at Roma. And, you know, this year has just given us uh, so many things to really contemplate. But I also think, uh, you know, while COVID-19 is, you know, playing a, a toll on businesses and people alike, I think it's also been an opportunity for us to sit back and reflect, reflect on the things that, you know, we were doing really well, reflect on the things that maybe needed to be tweaked, and certainly reflect on the things that needed to be changed. And this all hands meeting, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what we, what we did, what were some of the changes, you know, uh, through the last eight, nine months from March to today. It's been somewhat tumultuous, but we certainly haven't been sitting back hoping and wishing. We've been actively together working on strategies on becoming the best company we can ever be. And I can tell you, I sit here today, yesterday we just broke a record, you know, for calls and a record for sales just yesterday here at the company. So uh, a true testament to everyone on the team. Um, and I'm just so excited about, you know, what the future holds. And if you're counting, there's 41 days left to the end of the year. It's pretty hard to believe only 41 days till New Year's Eve. Um, what New Year's Eve will look like this year, who knows. But I know for certain we'll, we'll make it and we'll be stronger as a result of it. And I think things like, like COVID-19 has had us really press pause and in some respects press reset on some of the things we otherwise just did for the sake of doing. So let me get into uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, update since we've last met and believe it or not, it's been a year since we've last met our All Hands Meeting 29. Actually, All Hands Meeting 30 was supposed to be in March of this year. And for obvious reasons, we couldn't have a live show. And in fact, we couldn't put any show together because, you know, the economy, our company, and many, many of the companies around the world were closed. Um, this show is yet a testament to uh, what we stand for. Uh, we, we are not doing this live for various reasons. We want to really be cautious around that. And so we pre-recorded it, taking all precautions, but certainly did not want to miss All Hands Meeting 30. So first and foremost, we launched 49 new products this year. So last year at this time, I spoke about the, the 49 brilliant new products that, that we were going to hit the market with, and we had much anticipation. And, you know, those products did really well into the market. So I want to certainly say thank you to our BPS team, our marketing team who brought those products to life, but also our awesome customer base, our partners who enable us to do all the things we do. And so thank you for the support on those 49 new products. Um, they've been doing well within the market, even despite COVID-19, but there's you know more in store around new product development. Uh, product quality, 
always high, you know, a high ticket item within our company, always something we're laser focused on. This year, uh, we actually took deeper dives into the product quality, so the quality of our actual products. And I, I, I can't say enough great things about our operations team um, who are made up of brilliant men and women within this industry, our, our awesome distribution centers who, uh, you know, funnel that information up so we can make better decisions, uh, to our customer care team who hears about the comments and the insights, um, and in many respects, some of the, some of the not-so-good comments from partners. And we took all that information and really dove deep into what we believe to be an incredible quality policy or, or quality statement at our company. We've worked feverishly internally to up the game on quality, everything from you know, military checks to assigning uh, different sorts of checks at different time. We've assigned and created quality cards for replacements. Uh, we take uh, in-depth photos, we do analysis, we funnel it all back and we kind of take a, a five-step approach to understanding you know, what was root cause, how could we mitigate that cause and how do we become better. And by no means was it a, you know, a, a, a one brush and, 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 and it's over and it's on, you know, done with. The fact of the matter is, over the last year, we've really worked at tweaking that policy. So no really big sweeping changes, but a lot of small incremental changes to make the quality policy and our quality promise so much more tighter and bulletproof. And I'll say... You know, it worked really well. Our returns are down 1.5%. I mean, it's a remarkable number when you think of the magnitude of, of orders that we ship out across, you know, the globe, North America and, and abroad. And so that couldn't have happened without the awesome men and women who really put um, their ideas on the table, who collaborated, who came together, and who also can stand for what we've built. Meaning, we can build it, but if you don't believe in it, then it can never be adhered to. But our team, our team is like no other in this industry. We came together, we formulated what we believe uh, to be a bulletproof plan, and we're impl implementing and implementing and executing on a level I've never seen before. Now, that doesn't mean we are, you know, without error or we're, we're perfect in any stretch, but we aim for perfection. I think that in and itself is remarkable. I think other, other companies try to do a good job. And, and while that's okay for many, we, we aim to, to move and inspire and wow, that's been our benchmark for the last nine, nine, 10 years, and it remains our benchmark. And that's what we use as a benchmark also for product quality. So way to go. You should all be very proud of yourselves. Uh, freight uh, is always a, a hot topic, uh, topic on our agenda. And we've worked this year to revamp the freight program. We think it's the best freight program we've ever created. Again, it was a collaborative effort, both from our internal team, uh, speaking with our partners as well. We gained input and understood you know, what their needs and wants are. We've worked really hard to craft what we think is the best freight program the industry has seen, while having our partners really take advantage of the savings. So we think it's a win-win for all. It's been working really well. It's bulletproof as far as administration is concerned. Um, and we're really happy. I think the freight program in all respects has been in circulation for I think under 60 days, uh, the changes, but uh, early estimates show it's working really well um, and customer feedback has been very favorable. So that's a little bit about freight program. Uh, we certainly welcome new team members. Uh, certainly one of the highlights of our day and of our week is, you know, recruiting on new team members who bring fresh new ideas. And early estimates show that these new individuals who, are, who have joined our company are, are actually assimilating really well. Uh, they enjoy the values of our company. They're actually really adding a lot of value to our business. Um, I've had the pleasure of speaking to some of them here uh, obviously, in Toronto, D.C., I would love to do the same in L.A. and New Jersey and Atlanta, but for, for, for travel purposes, it, we're, we're unable to do that. But early estimates show they're doing really well. We're really proud of you, um, and we think there's a lot of runway for you. Um, new, new team members, uh, welcome to Roma, and we hope you do some of the best work of your life amongst probably, by far and large, some of the best people in this industry. So Tuesday Talk, so um, in March... You know, at the height of COVID-19, COVID-19, uh, let's rewind a bit, uh, January and February, we had seen COVID really ravage Wuhan, China, and, and various different areas of China, and then start spreading amongst the world, right? Um, 
early on when we seen that in March, it started to affect North America in a big way. It actually affected Europe first and then came in, or at least that's what we know of. Uh, so early on in March, we were ordered to lock down, and we, we certainly wanted to abide by government regulations and rules, and so we locked down. Um, it, it, was a tough, it was a tough go. Uh, our, we were shut down. Our customers were shut down. Nothing was happening, and it was very scary. And out of that, you know, people typically tend to, to, to curl up and, and, and tend to go on defense. We thought it'd be a, a wonderful idea uh, to actually bring people together. So our marketing team, I can't take the credit, but our marketing team really put forth this awesome initiative to bring this community together. And so they did. And uh, we launched Tuesday Talks. And Tuesday Talks with Tony, I'm Tony, but Tuesday Talks with Tony is an opportunity where we got to feature some of the best and brightest of our partner base and literally put them on stage. And the show is really about the awesome men and women who make up this industry, who are in many respects uh, industry experts in their own right. We had some people talk about social media and the power of social media. We've had people talk about how COVID-19 has changed the game for appointment only, or curbside pickup, or uh, phone-in calls, or Skype, or um, whatever have you. I mean, there were 30 consecutive episodes. We didn't miss one episode. And so I just want to thank our partners for, you know, uh, agreeing to be on uh, Tuesday Talk Show, making it so great, and having the community come together. We did uh, close season one, so it was 30 episodes. Uh, we did have an M&A, uh, 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 you know, an up close and personal, uh, you know, episode, which was fantastic. And uh, we're right now in the midst of brainstorming what season two will look like. So we have over 10,000 views of Tuesday Talks Season 1. We think Tuesday Talks Season 2 is going to far supersede that. So stay tuned as there's going to be some great, great things in store for Tuesday Talks. And the new Roma app. So there has been some chatter in the marketplace. I want to put that, uh, I, want to, I want to make some statements on the, the new Roma app. So the new Roma app is an application we've built, folks, for the picture frame industry. It enables uh, brick and mortar, but also e-commerce businesses to tie in or use this software to generate additional ancillary sales online. So it's really, really cool software. We're working with a very tight-knit uh, number of customers right now, partners who have signed on, who want to be part of that initial layout. Uh, we're going live with it this month in various different markets. We're really excited about that. And basically, the Roma app is an opportunity for your customer base, so our customers, for their customers, to be able um, to order custom mirrors, so you can actually customize mirrors, put a frame around it, visualize it. You're able to have a photo gallery of artwork, uh, select from a, a gallery of awesome artwork. You can have 10 or you can have 10,000. You can have 2 million pieces of art. And you can actually custom frame that. And you could also be in the photo upload business. So if someone wants to upload a photo, uh, put a mat on it, put a frame on it, and then check out. That checkout will go directly into our partners, whoever that may be, into their checkout system. It is by far and by large the best technology we've ever created here at Roma, but also early, um, I would say early comments uh, that have been made is this is by far the best technology created in its space. So um, while I'd love to do the demo here, I will be demoing it in the weeks and months to come. If you are interested and you're a partner who is, who is watching, if you're a photographer, if you're a designer, if you're a professional picture framer, and you want to join this e-commerce type space, which I think you all should, if you're interested in learning more about the Roma app, please contact your local BPS in your region and just say, hey, I'm interested. I watched it on uh, the All Hands meeting. I'm interested in the Roma application. How can I take advantage of it? We will record your name and number, and we're going to be doing smaller segments where we'll take you through demos of the software to actually see if this software is indeed uh, you know, suitable for your needs and if, if it's something that you want to sign on with. Uh, we're so excited about this. And heck, not only for the BPS team, but if you call in and you're a customer, you call into our customer care team, we'd be happy to take your name and number, and we will contact you. So uh, feel free, inquire within. We're really excited about the, the new Roma app, um, and it's going to be fantastic.
So health and safety uh, at the company here has been the number one priority. There is nothing higher than the health and safety, number one, of our team, because we're all here together, but also the health and safety of our partners. And I can't say enough great things from, you know, the culture and talent team who have worked feverishly to put together documentation on COVID-19. We have an entire booklet, you know, dedicated to the safety of COVID-19. How do we remain safe? Uh, so Petra and Olivia, thank you, you know, just for working around the clock for making that happen. I know our executive team has been part of that as well, so can't thank you guys enough as well, and our awesome leadership team. But also I want to say a special thank you to each and every human being in our company, each team member. Thank you folks for using the best judgment um, whenever possible to remain safe. And I would say today, you know, we're still up and operational um, in many respects, a little slower than normal due to, to restrictions. But I will say, as a result of the awesome men and women of our team, um, you know, Roma remains a company that's very strong, uh, very stable, and is shipping out products uh, to, to our customer base. So thank you to the Roma team for uh, remaining vigilant. I encourage you to still remain vigilant. We're not out of the water yet. Um, I, I think you know, the next, uh, I would say, probably 60 to 90 days are going to be very telling of where this virus goes, and I don't think anybody really knows, but I do ask that you all remain still very vigilant on it. Uh, if you need to wear your mask, if you can't social distance, you must wear a mask. Um, if you can do both, God bless you, but uh, the fact of the matter is, please, please, please remain safe. If you feel that you're, you're not safe for whatever reason, contact our, our culture and talent team, and we'll make sure that uh, we get you in a favorable position. Uh, and that's the health and safety of uh, the company. And lastly, I just wanted to, you know, a tremendous sense of gratitude and thank you to each and every team member at our company for keeping this company going during, uh, you know, what I would call the most tumultuous, unprecedented time, certainly in my, in my career, but I, I would say here at the company. Uh, thank you to the men and women who, you know, we're here for us, you know, while we closed. And when we opened up, we were four or five people, and then four or five went to 15, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, to the operations leader, Anthony, Brian, and Jeff, thank you guys just for doing an incredible job in, in manning the fort there. Uh, you are eyes and ears and, and body on the ground. I, I can't thank you enough for that. To the men and women in our USDCs and, and to Toronto, for, for doing everything you can to ensure your safety, but, but also ensure that our products and services um, get out to our customer base. I can't thank you enough for that. And to our awesome sales team, who uh, even up to this day are, are still challenged uh, by meeting some of the customer needs. Some customers are feeling that they could see you know, BPSs and sales team members. Others are in, in, in other dire straits. So depending on what state or province you're in, it, it, it varies. But um, can't say enough thank you to, to the men and women who make up this great team, to our customer care team, who have worked off-site, in-site, off-site, who have come in Saturdays and Sundays. I mean, uh, you know, this company is, is not great for a product or a service, but what brings this company to life are the awesome men and women um, who show up every day. And we are, by and large, by far the greatest company in this industry. And while many this year have been on the defense, our company has certainly been on the offense. And in many respects, I just think we're getting started. So there's a lot of really, really great initiatives in store. You'll hear more from some of the men and women who will adorn this stage uh, very shortly. Uh, but sit back, enjoy the show, and uh, I'll bring up our first guest. So with that said, I'd like to welcome Olivia and Petra to the stage. Thank you. Thanks for the introduction, Tony. I'm Olivia. I am Roma's Culture and Talent Specialist. And I'm Petra, the new Culture and Talent Leader. So excited to join you. So let's begin. As health and safety is so important to Roma, let's start there. As a company, we have maintained our regularly scheduled health and safety meetings, as well as facilities walkthroughs. This is all to ensure we maintain a safe workplace. Additional resources have also been directed at fighting the ongoing global pandemic. At the onset of COVID-19, Roma released the Pandemic Workplace Policy. This provided our team with key information about the virus, symptoms, and also key strategies to protect yourself. 
This includes social distancing, wearing a mask, hand hygiene, and of course, maintaining a clean workplace. To support this initiative, we have provided regular updates, as well as provided a variety of cleaning products at sanitization stations located throughout our workplace. This is all for your convenience. Again, we are at a point where we're no longer just fighting the pandemic, we are fighting pandemic fatigue. Having spoken to a variety of experts, it is clear that these key and simple strategies are effective, they work. So please remember that each and every one of us has a key contributing factor to keeping our team healthy and our workplace clean and safe. So please continue being vigilant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Petra, for highlighting those health and safety qualities. On that note, we did want to discuss how we have modified our culture events. As you all know, our culture events here at Roma are very important to us in getting our teams together. And this looks slightly different given the COVID-19 environment. Uh, we are, of course, keeping everyone's health and safety our top priority and this means having socially distanced gatherings, gatherings in smaller numbers and when people are together we are ensuring that people are wearing masks. This has applied to our past events like Roma's birthday barbecue which was in September and this will apply to our Christmas get together which is coming up very soon and it's going to look a little bit different this year, possibly virtual but we are still looking for a new way to get our team members together and excited to celebrate the holidays with health and safety in mind. Another initiative that we are working on is updating the Roma Molding Handbook, both for Canada and the US. Our goal is to make sure that this handbook is both accessible, concise, and user-friendly. We are so excited to share this with you in an electronic and PDF version in the coming year. And in terms of some other culture projects, Petra and myself are very excited to announce that here at HQ, we have our first employee wall. And this employee wall celebrates literally all of our employees. We have our Toronto team on there, our LA, Atlanta and New Jersey team, even our BPS is on there and we are so excited to have everyone represented in one spot. Uh, this is just phase one of our project. We are looking to roll this project out to other locations in the coming new year as well as our second phase which is to celebrate our team's very diverse background by representing a flag from everyone's nationality. So that's going to be awesome and everyone stay tuned for that information coming the new year. Awesome. We are definitely a diverse bunch. Some exciting technology updates. So Roma is quite techy, but early on we updated our recruitment process by including video recruitment interviews as well as virtual onboarding. Now we have some really exciting news from our payroll partners who will allow us to leverage their technology and resources to improve our recruitment, um, onboarding, and also information systems. Our goal is to make sure that every employee has the full immersive Roma experience before even stepping into the building. I think it's gonna take Roma to the next level. Definitely. And on that note, speaking of tech things, this year, of course, like usual after our all hands meeting, we will be administering and implementing our Pulse survey. And this survey is really to gain some employee perspectives, of course, from our Roma team and how we can better support you. Um, it looks at a couple of key initiatives and considerations for us, such as Roma's leadership, our company purpose, as well as employee job satisfaction. This year, it will look a little bit different, of course, keeping in mind COVID-19 and the reduction of high touch and shared surfaces, or laptops in this case. We will be administering this survey via pen and paper. So we're going old school. Old school, but it's definitely the best school. And as a reminder, this survey is still 100% confidential. So we are looking forward to everyone's open and honest feedback. Awesome, completely anonymous. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited to head into November Give Back Month. Now, as you know, the global pandemic has caused a lot of hardship for families in our community. And we are so excited to help in any way possible. We have decided as a team for a food drive initiative. Again, we will be donating our items to our local communities. Me and Petra wanted to share some, some crazy and unfortunate facts about uh, our food drive this year revolving around world hunger. In fact, 41 million people in North America still face hunger. And additionally, 13 million children face hunger each year, which was astounding to me considering it's 2020 and we are really looking to make an impact in as many ways as possible and we figured why not impact our local communities first. Absolutely, it's an extremely sad statistic. 
And we also wanted to share that when we think of a drive, we immediately think of food. But we wanted to share with you that we encourage you to get creative. There are many items that are needed by local families. That includes cleaning supplies, toys, and clean and unused clothing. Please give anything you can. Everything will be appreciated. And for many of you that have already seen my emails, I have put together a donation suggestion list that was given to me by each of these charities. So if you are looking for external resources and would like access to that list, please contact me. I'll be more than happy to share. And again, we are donating to local communities and charities. So in Los Angeles, that's St. Peter and St. Paul. In Toronto, it's the Vaughn Food Bank. In New Jersey, it's the Hands of Hope. And in Atlanta, it's the Lawrenceville Cooperative Ministry. Again, as a team, we set a goal, and I'm so happy and proud to say that we are not only meeting it, we are exceeding it this year. Definitely. And just to add to that, for our remote team, BPS is this one's for you. If you are looking to make a difference, please contact myself if you need assistance in making a digital donation or with assistance in coordinating any physical items that need to be given to your local DC. We wanted to share our contact information with you and we look forward to hearing from you, your opinions, your ideas. Please feel free to reach out to Olivia and I at any time. We are available all the time. And at this point, we will be calling Tony back on the stage. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Petra and Olivia. I mean, those two individuals have done such a remarkable job this year. Certainly not an easy year to be in culture and talent. Uh, but they've done a remarkable job, so way to go, Petra and Olivia. As we move forward, I want to talk a little bit about our sales team. But before I do, we have a message from two uh, individuals in our company, the sales leadership from Tanya Santana and Lloyd Haddad. Take a listen to this. Hi, my name is Tanya Santana, and I'm the national sales leader for Roma Molding. And I'm Lloyd Haddad. I'm the regional sales leader here at Roma. And we're here, guys, just with a bundle of gratitude. We're here to just say thank you so much for your commitment, your passion, your integrity, your dedication. Um, I have never seen a more resilient team in my life that I've worked with. Um, as we all know, we had some unprecedented times that, we've, that no one has lived through. <laughs> Nobody, I think, in our team or in this company has lived through something so challenging as we all did together. But the beauty of something like this is what comes after. And I believe that the team has never been closer, has never been more solid, more united, more focused uh, in achieving a common goal. And for that, I want to thank every single person on this team. Um, clearly, definitely the sales team, but of course, every other member in this company that has contributed to the success of our team as we've all been going through these challenges. And on what Tanya just said, after being sheltered in place for three months, uh, the sales team came back with um, the passion that we all have, and we were tasked with achieving 80% of sales over last year in the month of June. And actually, we achieved 85%. So kudos to the team for doing that. In the month of July, we also had a, um, a stretcher bar promo. Uh, once again, the sales team really came out of it and, and almost tripled the, their sales goals for that promo during the week. And we sold over 168,000 feet of stretcher bar in one week. Um, that's truly amazing. Uh, last in September, we had a photo frame promotion. Um, once again, our sales team really took the bull by the horns and sold twice what our sales goals were going to be, which achieved us about 8,000 photo frames sold to our partners in one week for uh, getting ready for fourth quarter gift sales. So again, you know, we all recognize that the sales team really did a great job, but it does take a team, a full team to make uh, promos like this happen, make them successful. So of course, our gratitude toward the operations team, our customer care team, finance, IT, HR, everybody comes together in this company and we really uh, make a difference in a very positive way and really show what we can do as a company, even in, when we have some, uh, some times of adversary. So again, thanks very much to all those departments. Yeah, like Lloyd said, it definitely takes a village. And I believe that we have the best village out there. We have the best 
uh, customer care, the best operations, the best sales team, the best marketing team. We are definitely in a really great position. Um, and we have very dedicated individuals. And after seeing um, what this year has done to us, made us stronger, brought us closer together. And definitely, I know that this is the team that you want to go to battle with. This is the team that's going to have your back. And you guys are making it happen every single day. And I know that 2021, whatever challenges come our way, we're going to make it and we're going to do it together because you guys have showed such strength and tenacity during this year that, I mean, the world is your oyster. So I'm really looking forward to 2021. I'm looking forward to see what new challenges, surprises, what really great things are happening. Um, and I'm really looking forward in doing it together as a team. So thank you all and um, wish you the best. Thanks very much. Take care. Thank you, Tanya and Lloyd, for that great message to our entire company and to the awesome sales team. Um, your leadership has been great this year. Thank you for, you know, uh, keeping the lines of communication open from our corporate headquarters into our sales team. It hasn't been easy, but as a result of COVID-19, I think we've stepped up the game on communication. I think we're far more well-informed, both upwards and downwards. I feel much more connected to our sales team than I ever have. And to the sales team, you know, to each and every man and woman who make up that great team of ours. I want to say thank you for your hard work, for your patience during, you know, this COVID-19 and the, this, this disruption. Um, thank you for your understanding and compassion. Uh, I'm not saying that we did everything perfect, but we certainly aimed to do everything perfect. And thank you uh, for helping to support us, for bringing back, you know, our customer base um, and, and their excitement. So thank you for doing that. And I know, and we know that it hasn't been easy, you know, certainly being in the field and dependent on the various states, some are more locked down than others. So we're certainly feeling a lot of compassion for you out there in the field. You know, here at headquarters, we get to see one another, but for our sales team, we know it could sometimes feel like an island. And we hope we've bridged that island that you feel connected and that this all hands meeting brings us, you know, together. So I couldn't say enough great things about our sales team. Thank you very much for your hard work, uh, for your continued hard work. You know, the next 30, 60, 90 days, not sure what they're going to bring, but I'm sure you guys are going to work as hard, if not harder, to ensure our partners are certainly move inspired and wowed. And that, you know, that we get those new products out and that we're able to service them and that we're able to take their inquiries. So, so thank you so very much. And just so we have it here, if you ever want to get in touch with Tanya Santana or Lloyd, for that matter, their email addresses are here. They're more than welcome to take your inquiries. If you're a customer and want to talk to a sales leadership t uh, team member, feel free to, uh, you know, uh, send them an email and or call them. We are here. We are here to serve you, our customer base. Uh, but as far as the BPSs are concerned, I do want to say thank you so much. Uh, loads of gratitude to each and every single one of you. Hey, folks, well, this part of the all hands meeting really excites me. This is the part where I get to showcase live right here on All Hands Meeting 30, our newest 2021 molding collection. It's an incredible collection. It has 38 new items, 38 items curated from our artisans in Italy with our North American teams, our design teams coming together, creating what we believe to be such a beautifully, nicely curated selection of moldings for this industry. We're super excited to share those with you today. The collection makes up 20 Roma 1 items and 18 Simply Roma items, of which we also have 18 photo frames they're offered in. They are superb collections, and I'm so proud and honored to share them with you today. So our first collection, folks, is La Galleria. La Galleria is a renowned collection that we've created over the years here at Roma Molding. It's beautifully curated product, but we've added a twist to this product. So this is not oxidized, so it won't change color. This is not with any watercolors. This is a multi-layered film approach with various techniques, a few hand applications, which we believe has brought forth such a beautifully curated and designed collection. Listen to this. The newest additions to our Galleria collection, five unique, versatile, and vibrant colors 
adorn two simply classic profiles. Featured on finger joint pine, multiple layers of finish are delicately applied with the highest attention to detail, ensuring to highlight the perfect balance between the depth of color and hue vibrancy. Finally, to enhance the just opposing high and low tones, a finishing layer adds a final sheen. Folks, this collection here is superb and it's created with two different profiles. So as you can see here, it's such a beautifully designed patina, beautifully designed foil. There's a multi-foiled approach to it, scratch resistant. It won't oxidize, but yet has great depth. We've wrapped the entire product uh, or the entire film all around the product. It is made on a supreme, uh, superb, and high quality finger joint pine product. We think it's gonna do really, really well in the marketplace. And this powder blue here is just an incredible, beautiful, um, curated design product, which we think will do so well for our discerning you know, picture framers, designers, and artists. We're really excited about this for so many reasons, but one of the highlights of our collection this year is that we've really wanted to play with color. You know, in a world otherwise battered with COVID-19 and a bunch of other challenges, we wanted to really be colorful and put punches of color. So you'll see the vibrant blue, you'll see those mo purples, beautiful greens. We've even created a rose gold in this collection. It's a beautifully designed collection, very versatile, and we think you're going to love it. And folks, if that wasn't great enough, we have yet another beautiful collection to bring forth. It's our vintage collection. Uh, vintage has been, you know, a, a mainstay here at Roma. It's been doing really well as far as the collection is concerned. And yet this year, we've relaunched some new, brand new design products to add to that repertoire of otherwise brilliant designs in our vintage collection. Let's hear what uh, this collection has in store. Inspired by the sophistication of mid-century modern art in the Art Deco era, the newest additions to the Roma Molding Vintage Collection include four colors on two profiles. Satin black, rose gold, warm silver and warm gold colors are applied to the highest quality pine, along with an application of highly durable subcoat to prevent dulling and scratching. These timeless designs pair exquisitely with contemporary or modern works of art or photography. So folks, there you have it, Vintage. We've added two new collections to Vintage. One has uh, this profile that's on screen right now. It's a beautifully designed uh, collection. It comes in two beautiful different sizes, the size here and a much smaller size. Uh, it comes in four colors, which is very, very pretty. Um, each color is really nice, very soft. Uh, this is our soft uh, silver. We have a, a soft gold. The, the actual rose gold that we created is just brilliant, very soft in tone, and obviously black. In this collection as well, and inspired by you know, mid-century modern design and a lot of Art Deco, we've created this product here. We just think it's a beautiful, nice motif. Now this product comes in two different sizes, all again on a, a superior finger joint pine uh, with the pasta that creates this beautiful motif. But the actual finish itself is just brilliant. It actually has an anti-scratch film placed on top of it. So the patina on top is just a, this beautiful, like, gorgeous satin finish. It's very gentle. Um, and we think these two collections lend themselves really nicely to some of the artwork, and especially photography that's going on right now, you know, within our, within our uh, uh, industries, uh, as well as, you know, for the discerning photographers and artists out there. We think these collections themselves are really brilliant. So it's four uh, different moldings, two different collections in vintage, and we think they're just fantastic, and I think you're going to love them. And folks, if that wasn't great enough, you know, we, we talked about, you know, when we were designing, one common thread and element that we wanted to bring forth this year for 2020, but also for 2021, is color. And we didn't just want to get, you know, a different array of colors and splash them on a different molding. We really wanted to take our time to curate the right motif, figure out the right color gambit, figure out the right depth and height, and then seal it with the right patina and the right sheen. And we think we've done that really, really well in this next collection. 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Elements Collection. This is an incredible collection, 10 items, one profile. We haven't done this for a while here at the company, but it was arguably one of the hardest decisions for us to make as to which colors should we bring in and which we should omit. You know, after long debate, we're really proud of the 10 that we brought forward. Everything from this pale moss green to this beautiful rose gold. Uh, let's hear what the collection has in store. Vibrantly unique hues lay delicately upon only the highest grade pine to proudly introduce the newest additions to Roma Moldings Elements collection. An array of 10 stunning colors blend whimsical tones with an elegantly timeless profile design. The result of endless hours of exploration and development, each molding is delicately brushed with a gentle satin patina, allowing for a scratch-resistant, perfectly smooth finish. Welcome to the Winter 2021 Elements Collection. So there you have it, folks. We're really excited about this collection. It is one profile, and what we wanted to go was really deep in the colors. And in my hands right here are two beautiful uh, colors that we have. I just want to share them with you. The Orient Red, which we think is just brilliant, and the Turquoise. These are colors you won't want to miss for 2021. I would pre-order these right away. Um, they will be a hot item in 2021 and into the future, but we just think it's very versatile. As we've stated, they are scratch resistant um, and the luster and sheen on it are just brilliant and beautiful. And the motif allows for the light to hit it properly. So as you can see, it really plays on light. So it's a beautifully uh, designed, curated and finished product. And so folks, that brings us to what we believe to be is an incredible 21, uh, 2021 molding collection. We think it's going to be really well received in the marketplace. Um, here's a little video that we've created. It's a commercial about our new 2021 molding collection. We hope you love it. 38 stunning additions to our elements, Galleria, and vintage collections are finally here. Roma Moldings 2021 Winter Collection is the outcome of a relentless group of creatives, dedicating endless hours of research and development to introduce the most cutting edge moldings, worthy of adorning the world's greatest masterpieces. Inspired by the sophistication of mid-century modern art and the Art Deco era, the newest additions to the Roma Molding Vintage Collection include four colors on two profiles. The newest additions to our Galleria collection, five unique, versatile, and vibrant colors adorn two simply classic profiles. Featured on finger joint pine, multiple layers of finish are delicately applied with the highest attention to detail. Vibrantly unique hues lay delicately upon only the highest grade pine to proudly introduce the newest additions to Roma Moldings Elements collection. The result of endless hours of exploration and development, each molding is delicately brushed with a gentle satin patina, allowing for a scratch resistant, perfectly smooth finish. Welcome to the Winter 2021 Elements Collection. Together, we are proud to introduce these outstanding new designs, an extensive addition to our most sought after collections. We hope you enjoy the newest additions to our Roma molding family. So folks, there you have it, our 2021 molding collection. I hope you've enjoyed you know, seeing each of our 38 items for this collection. There's 18 photo frames that are also available in this collection. We hope you enjoyed you know, the presentation showcasing each and every one of these collections, as well as the commercial that we just showed. If there is of interest for the commercial or any assets you would like, feel free to reach out to your local BPS or call our marketing department. We'd be happy to share those assets with you. Uh, as far as new products are concerned, pre-order will begin November 19, 2020 today. So pre-order begins today. And we will be shipping out our new products uh, beginning January 2021. So if you're interested, if you love what we brought forth, 
feel free to uh, contact your local BPS. They'll be more than happy to uh, take your call and walk you through the collection. And there's so many more great things in store for 2021 around molding collection. So thank you so much. And so folks, at this time, I want to talk about our awesome operations team. Whether they're in Atlanta, New Jersey, LA, or Toronto, each and every team has worked very hard over the last year to do their very best to work with you know, what otherwise is COVID-19 restrictions, health and safety initiatives, but also getting all our products out on time. You know, we did have disruptions throughout this year and we kind of went from a closed state to slowly open. And to the many men and women who came in every day despite, you know, worry about family and worry about, you know, what COVID-19 is going to bring, you know, to their families, I, I thank you for your hard work. I thank you for your dedication. I thank you for coming in day in, day out and doing some of the best work of your life. Thank you for working together. Thank you for abiding by the principles of our company, the core values of our company, and also for keeping yourself safe, but each, each and every person safe within our company. So I want to thank you folks in operations, on our operations team, for everything you've done and continue to do. You know, we're in the height of our busy season. Uh, things are doing, you know, really great. Uh, we have some really great momentum. We're obviously not at a peak optimal level, but we're working through this. And it's without the hard work of the men and women, without your hard work, we wouldn't be, be where we are today. And for that, I'm very grateful and very blessed for that. Um, I, wa I want to talk a little bit about our supply chain. So our supply chain is um, something that's been uh, obviously disrupted due to COVID-19 in many respects. I like to report today our supply chain remains very healthy. You know, back in March when things were closing down, Europe had started to see that wave in early February and they had closures as well. Uh, but I got to say our amazing uh, vendors in Italy our amazing suppliers in Italy, our artisans, have been working day in, day out to offset some of those closures. They've been working in some respects five, six, seven days a week around the clock to ensure we have our products for our customer base. So I just thought it was very important today to pay homage and to give you know, great thanks to the men and women who are overseas in Italy working very hard to bring forth our you know, newest, best products, but also to ensure that that supply chain remains very strong. Now, we have encountered challenges throughout the way, like all companies have, but I think what makes our company different is we work together to overcome those challenges. And I'm so very grateful to all of you who continuously work day in, day out to make sure that we continue to give our best to our customers, that we continue to deliver those products when our customers need them most. So on that note, I can't give enough thanks and gratitude to all of you in our operations team uh, for everything you've done through this pandemic, for everything you continue to do today and well into the future. I will say the future looks bright for us. Um, I will say operationally, we're in a really great shape. I think we have great teams on the ground in various different states and provinces. And I'm convinced with the team we have today that we can you know, overcome whatever challenges may come our way in the weeks and months to come. So stay tuned uh, for some new and exciting things in operations as we move forward into 2021. We want to continuously up our game. We want to continuously tweak that process, continuously ensure that that supply chain remains full and strong so that our customers um, continue to get the great product they've come to know us for. So that's a little bit about operations. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for all you do. And can't wait to visit you in the near future when these travel bans are lifted. So with, on that note, I'd like to bring up Michael Pallotta, who wants to talk a little bit about the finance of our company and the pulse of our company moving forward. So, Michael, please come up. Thank you, Tony. It's great to be back up here for another All Hands meeting. I'd like to say hi to all our employees, those here at the uh, head office, as well as those across the U.S. and our DCs and our BPSs. I'll be up here just uh, providing everyone with a quick financial update, as well as uh, some of the projects that the finance team are currently working on. We all know that 2020 has been a challenging year. Here at Roma, 
we were able to deal with whatever challenges we face. The main reason for that is that we are very nimble at Roma. Management is able to adapt to the current environment and to change accordingly and quickly. This was evident in how we dealt with the pandemic. Many businesses are suffering financial losses during this time. Roma continues to be financially stable. Although we were forced to close down during the end of March and the early weeks of April, with the no time where we were able to round up some customer care personnel as well as some warehouse personnel and bring them back as soon as possible so as to minimize our disruption in our business as well as to continue to service our partners. Today, our sales team continues to grow our sales and management continues to review those levels and adjust expenses accordingly. As 2020 comes to an end, I strongly feel that Roma will complete the year on a positive financial note. Some of the projects that the finance team are working on, the 2021 budget. We're currently in discussions with our sales leaders, Tanya and Lloyd, in setting the 2021 sales budget numbers. And with the uncertainty that we face as a result of this pandemic, I anticipate that our sales budget for 2021 will be consistent with that of the 2020 sales budget. We're also working with the marketing team to finalize the marketing collateral for the 2021 price list. We want to have those up on our website as quickly as possible. Our price increase for 2021 will be between 3 to 5% on molding. And the reason being is to absorb the increase in costs from our suppliers. Several other programs that we currently are working on, on a regular basis, are the freight program, the corner sample program, as well as the returns program. We review those on a regular basis to ensure that we remain competitive in the marketplace, as well as ensure that we're cost conscious to the impact it will have on our financial statements. We're also working with our U.S. broker for health benefits for 2021 for our U.S. employees. We're in conversations with him to ensure that any increase is kept to a minimal and that our employees have options to choose from. We have scheduled a seminar for December 1st as well as December 2nd, depending on your DC, so that these options can be presented to the employees so they're able to understand and choose which option fits them the best. I'd like to thank Petra, Diana, and Mary for their support in this area. On that note, I'd also like to thank all of our employees here at Roma. 2020 has been a difficult year, and you should be proud on the fact that you've continued to strive for excellence at Roma. Your hard work and your dedication do not go unnoticed. As 2020 comes to a close, I hope that you and your loved ones continue to stay safe and well, and that 2021 brings health and happiness. If you have any questions or concerns, I can be reached at extension 344 or at mpalata at romamolding.com. At this point, I'd like to call up Tanya Ferraro to the stage. Thanks, Mike. Hi, everybody. Um, wow, all hands meeting 30, and we're already in November 2020. This year's almost over, and I think we pulled through and we made it. What a year. Uh, year for our team, our partners, just the whole world in general. It's just been a roller coaster ride, very uncertain times, but we pulled through. We did a fantastic job, and we made it through. 
I want to talk about little things that we've done to improve our customer experience, our partner experience. We came in, we were here, we met your needs, we're here to listen, we're here to help you with whatever we can, especially during these times. And we've looked, continued to look for ways and make little changes to help improve our partner experience. With that being said, feedback from you, from all our partners is so valued. It's such a precious gift uh, to allow us to grow as a company, as a team, um, to always look on how we can make things better. So as you all know, if you remember from the previous All Hands meetings, um, we, we like the feedback from our partners and we ask for it and we thank our partners for providing the honest and great feedback that we received. So we typically run a external net promoter score survey. And the survey, if anyone remembers, it, we ask our partners, what can we do to improve? What can we do to be a better team? And most of all, would you recommend Roma to your friends, your family, and your customers, or your partners of your own? And we had a target set out that we wanted to achieve an 87% recommendation rate from our partners, a customer experience external promoter score survey of 87%. And I'm really happy to say that, especially during these rough times and what we've been through throughout this year in the last eight months, that our partners would recommend us um, and we received an 87% score, which is fantastic. Great job on the teams, great job uh, all across the board. Uh, I know we've worked hard as a team to try to meet and exceed our partners' expectations and it pays off. Our partners are happy. You know, comments I received during the survey are, you know, Terry Lynn does a great job and Neil does a great job, even Dina does a great job. And we love working with your team. They all are very friendly, they're very professional, they're very nice, and they're there to help us when we need you. It's really a good feeling. It's a good feeling to hear that come from our partners. And again, to all that participated in the survey, thank you so much for that feedback because it really helps us become better. Where are we going from here? Well, we've worked on having some of our team also work remotely to help out during these, these um, uncertain times. And we have some of our team still here. We've made little changes on how we do things to make things easier for us, to give our team more tools and more information so that they can better meet the needs of our partners. Cyber Monday's coming up and we're ready. We know it's gonna be a hairy day, but we are ready. We're ready to take on the orders that we know that you're gonna take advantage of our special discounts that are coming up and we're ready. We're here before and after opening times. We're here to communicate through email, um, take your orders through web, and even answer the phones. And it's all hands on deck. So whether we're here, whether we're working remotely, everybody will be there to assist our partners on Cyber Monday. And I want to have a special, I want to say a special thank you to my team, Customer Care. You do an amazing job. You come in, some days are, you know, very stressful some days are happy um, but at the end of the day we all work as a family we all do our best we all work together and we get the job done and the most important is that we create and we come up with ways to ensure that we create that amazing wow partner experience that we want to provide day in and day out whether it was yesterday whether it was today whether it's during pandemic times or whether it's the future we always work towards creating that wow partner experience. Anyone that needs to reach me, you have questions, you have concerns, even if you wanna give me some feedback, I'm always available at 1-800-263-2322. My direct extension is 340, or you can easily reach me on my email address at tferraro at romamolding.com. Thank you. And now I wanna call up Tony Guerreri. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you so much. So folks, now you've heard from various different team members at our company. 
You've heard from Petra and Olivia who talked about the culture of the company and the, the, the vibrancy of our culture. Uh, you heard them talk about the health and safety measures we've, uh, you know, undergone this year to make sure everybody's safe and sound within, you know, the company here. Uh, you've heard about some of the initiatives we're doing, both from a company standpoint and from a culture standpoint. You've also heard from Tanya and Lloyd who talked about some of the initiatives we're doing in sales, the hard work the sales team has been, you know, putting in. You've heard from Michael Pilato who's talked about, you know, where we're at, future outlooks, the finances of our company, and he shared how strong we are as a team and as a brand. And you've also heard from Tanya Ferraro, who've talked about our customer care team, who has, you know, really worked around the clock to ensure we're here ready when our customers need us most. You've heard her also share about the external net promoter score at 87%, which is just amazing. And we thank you folks, you know, for voting us in at that high level. Now, we're not stopping. In fact, I think we're just getting started. You know, while many companies took a backseat approach or, or they took a defensive approach, Roma went on the offense this year with many great new initiatives bringing forth into the latter part of 2020. And, and folks, I could tell you, there are some incredible new initiatives for 2021, some of which we couldn't share today because it's just too new. Uh, but hold me to it because there are some great things happening in 2021 from this company. And so, folks, you've heard from all our team members. They've shared their email addresses and, in some respects, their phone numbers. On the screen here is my email address. If you have any comments, questions, insights, anything, whatever you might have and you want to get a hold of me, feel free to reach out to me at tgareri at romamolding.com. I do read all my emails, so I'd love to hear from you. Folks, with that said, you know, we're trying our best to culminate the entire story of Roma Molding. We're trying to really bring forth through this all hands, meaning all the initiatives that have taken place, all the things we're working on and where we're headed. And so in Roma fashion, we thought, let's liven up this industry and create our newest Roma Molding video. This is the culmination of many hours and many edits and many cuts of what makes our company so great. We think this video is something that you're going to love, uh, you're going to enjoy, and it's going to, you know, be a lot of fun, quite frankly, because we certainly had fun making it. So sit back and enjoy this video. Thank you. Allow me to tell you why our frames aren't special. They're handcrafted in Italy by master artisans with centuries of heritage and tradition. No plastic, no poly, no composite in these bad boys. Just solid wood with purebred, authentic Italian craftsmanship. But that's not what makes our frame special. Our designers obsess over every single detail. Even the details have details. We don't follow standards, we set them. Whether it's for best in class quality, award-winning design, unparalleled service, or ethical reforestation efforts. But that's not what makes our frames special. Super high resolution, full color prints, and a sea of always in stock inventory means customers can order prints and custom molding on demand 24-7, 365 days a year. You'd think this would make Roma molding a leader in the industry. Well, it does. But that's not what makes our frame special. The tech stuff? We take care of it all for you. Cloud-based seamless integration with your online store and retail POS. 99.9% .9 server uptime. Secure EDI compliance. You name it. In this new digital era, that means you can focus on what you're good at while your business runs like clockwork as it should. But that's not what makes our frame special. Speaking of clockwork, we offer full end-to-end -end fulfillment with complete printing, assembly, packaging, and a North America-wide shipping network for unparalleled delivery speeds. And guess what? That's not what makes our frame special. Our company culture isn't run by corporate suits. It's a family-built company honoring family values. And for an industry founded on small family businesses, we get it. 
just like you, we work really hard because we care. And because we care, we play even harder. In fact, the only thing we take more seriously than our frames is our commitment to move, inspire, and wow. Because in our world, our obsession with giving back, sharing happiness, and giving our customers the best experience isn't something we need to do. It's something we love to do. That's definitely not what makes our frames special. You can count our awards and our accolades, applaud our products and our team, but none of this makes our frames special. You see, Roma Molding isn't built on frames alone. We're built on partnerships. From our leadership to our dedicated sales team working on the ground across North America, you might just think we never rest or ever stop finding ways to innovate until we see you succeed. It's because of you that we get to do what we love every single day. And that's something we don't ever take for granted. So, if you had to ask, what makes our frames truly special? It's you. And so folks, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that video as much as we've enjoyed creating it for you. We had a lot of fun in creating that video. Now, just before we go, I have one final thought I'd like to leave you with today. And it's a quote by Albert Einstein that I live by. And it says, a ship is always safe at shore, but it is not what it's built for. And have that sink in for a minute. Because at our company, you know, I've always believed that the true test or the true testament of a company is not when things go well. The true test of a company and its culture is when things go tough, in tumultuous times, in, in seas, in high seas like this. So the thing that I want you really to get is our company has been put to a test. And I'd like to say that we've accepted that challenge and we are overcoming that challenge. And in fact, we are a far better company as a result of some of the trials and tribulations that have been put forth upon us you know, within this year. And what I can tell you is that that learning will be brought into 2021 and well into the future. So it really excites me. And lastly, I wanted to share that faith, it does not make things easy, it makes things possible. And why I share this is, because a lot of people right now have a lot of uncertainty, which is normal. I, I mean, I feel the uncertainty as well. It's hard to plan. We don't know what the future holds. But you have to have faith in something, something bigger than you, something bigger than, you know, a, a politician, something bigger than a party. You have to have something way bigger that you believe in. And it's in that faith that will get you through these tough times. There's a lot of people in a lot of pain right now. And my... my my message today is have faith. You know, people before us, our forefathers before us fought, you know, many different challenges, fought world wars, famine, um, plagues, and we'll overcome this together. So on that note, I just want to say thank you very much for watching All Hands Meeting 30. Um, and I'm Tony Guerrero, CEO of the company, signing off for yet again uh, a great All Hands Meeting 30. Thank you all for everything you continuously do. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for today. And remember, a lot of great things are in store for all of us in the months and years to come. God bless. Take care.